My name is Sammy Margo, I'm a chartered physiotherapist, sleep expert and author of The Good Sleep Guide. Today I'm going to talk about the impact of caffeine and alcohol on the quality and quantity of your night's sleep. So at night you have a glass of alcohol or one or two or three and quite often if you drink alcohol at night it really affects the quality and quantity of your night's sleep. It actually affects you getting into the deeper stages of sleep and that's why the following morning you feel a little bit groggy. So you wake up the next morning, you turn to the caffeine and you start drinking caffeine to rev you up and before you know it you're so wired and you're, you're really revved up. Um, as the day goes by, towards the end of the day, you're so revved up that you can't wind down, so you turn to alcohol to sedate you. And before you know it, within two days, you could be in a sedative stimulant cycle, which is not great for the quality or quantity of your night's sleep. Now, as a sleep expert, I'm a big fan of using sleep trackers or even the RemFit sleep system to evaluate the quality and quantity of your sleep. And what you can do is you can perhaps reduce the amount of caffeine that you're drinking, so maybe stop drinking caffeine after lunch and see what impact that has on your sleep scores when you're using one of your sleep apps. Um, or alternatively, try reducing the amount of alcohol that you're having at the end of the day and see what impact that has. Are you getting into the deeper stages of sleep? You need to use your apps to do this, and in so doing, you may well be able to see if you're one of these people that's caffeine-sensitive or alcohol-sensitive, or perhaps even a blend of the two, so sweet dreams.